Welcome back, everybody, to Shooting Gallery in New England. We appreciate you swinging by. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this video. We're trying to get the subscriber numbers up. So today, we are going to be going over this Galco holster, which is a King Tuck model for a Glock 20 in 10 millimeter. That's right, 10 millimeters, the best millimeter. So this was the first holster I had when I wanted to get into concealed carrying a Glock. And then I decided that I went was going to go with this BBF Make Kydex Appendix holster, which is my everyday carry holster. But these are different options. We all know who Galco is. They've been around for years. And they have various types of holsters, whether it's good quality leather or they're starting to jump into the outside the waistband Kydex. They have all different models, shoulder holsters, ankle holsters. I'll link their, to their website in the description of this video. Uh, but let's get right into it. The specs are pretty basic. You have a Kydex shell, two clip six uh, system that is typically designed for a four to five o'clock position inside your waistband. Uh, yeah, they're adjustable clips. When they first got, when they first come to you, they're going to be in the bottom two. So unfortunately, when I tried wearing this, it was riding up a little bit in my uh, pants so I felt like the gum was just gonna fall ass over tea kettle out of my pants and that's really not what you want when you're concealed carrying a firearm. So what I've had to do is automatically I adjust the height of it so it sat lower in my pants when I was carrying the firearm. Um, but as you can tell this is the Glock that we're talking about. I'm gonna safety check it. Try not to knock the camera over and it's clear and there's no magazine in the gun. So, I'm going to dry fire to do the striker. So, as you can tell, fits right in. It's easy to maneuver and it's easy to holster and reholster. Getting it on initially is going to be your tough part. Um, I'm not going to say I'm the biggest fan of this style holster, but at the same time, for new shooters or new people getting into trying to carry a concealed firearm, this is a good option till they can get you to where you need to go. They're not that inexpensive, but they're good quality, and that's what you want to look for when you're considering a holster for your concealed carry firearm. Uh, the only detriment I'd have to say to this holster is probably the retention. Now, you all know whenever you look at holster videos here, I always want to make sure, can it retain the firearm? and is it easy to get in and out of my pants. So I can't demonstrate that here on tabletop review, but retention, so this is my test. Nope. So the good, the weird thing about these types of holsters is it does have good retention, but you have to understand when this part is pressed against your back, that's what's holding the retention in. So it can, it's not going anywhere because you have this back, this backing pushing up against the Kydex shell and that's how you get the retention. But don't trust yourself with that because your body moves all different ways and it all depends on the person. Some people really enjoy these types of holsters. I'm going to get the gun out of here for a second. Some people enjoy these types of holsters for, you know, especially if you're carrying like a 1911 or you like to carry outside the waistband or inside the waistband and you like that kidney or near 4 30 5 o'clock position on your body this is a right hand holster so you're going to be coming out the right side uh, i carried this for a long time but here's the problem for people that do not have the luxury of having uh, how do i put this delicately a back side to hold your pants up that is going to be a problem. I am constantly pulling my pants up. I've, I, I'm like a baffle board on my backside. So it's very difficult to carry a firearm with this type of holster just because I'm constantly pulling my pants up. So what I recommend is people, obviously you get a good quality belt. I like can go through Blue Alpha Gear or I believe Galco also makes custom leather belts to go with these holsters as well. So automatically have make sure you have a good belt and also make sure the firearm that you're carrying is the best way for you is the best gun for you to conceal carrying this 
in the four or five o'clock position is not your best bet, especially even for me, me being a larger gentleman, I have issues concealing this well. It doesn't print as bad. Again, everybody's body is different, so it all depends on what you want. But it's a good quality holster. Again, I'm not the biggest fan of it, but for the money and the quality you're getting, it's a good holster for beginners and depending on how they want to carry, this would be a good start. That you can get into things like crossbreeds, alien gear, stuff like that, along those same lines. Um, if you guys like this holster, and even if you think I'm full of crap and you would like to purchase one of these, I will put a link in the description. It's going to have to go to our GunStreamer account due to YouTube's policy on affiliate links and stuff like that. It is an affiliate link through Amazon. It does help the channel out. We're not getting paid by Galco. But if you would like to support the channel by picking up a holster, and you don't have to get this holster. You can get something, say you, you have a Glock 19, m &P, uh, a Ruger LC9, you name it, they have all different options. But I'll leave the I'll leave the link in the description. You just gotta follow to our gun streamer account so you can get to the link for this holster. And again, proceeds from that will go to the channel to help the channel out, and I appreciate that. Just want to be upfront. We're not shilling out for everybody here. But like I said, guys, if this is a holster you like, they're MSRP right now for just under between four on the low end, forty dollars, and on the high end, about eighty. So it all depends on what you're looking for. The King Tut holster is a very good start, and uh, I have to say, for what it is, it got me through a good six to seven months, almost a year of carrying this, carrying the firearm in it to know okay does it fit my body well is it retaining good and it retained good when i wasn't pulling my pants up but at the same time that's it it ends up in me again i'm a larger dude so i tend to chafe if there's if i sweat a lot so i always had to make sure i had an undershirt on this just so like this leather wouldn't chafe up my back so that's another thing to consider when you're looking at a uh, galco holster but they are good quality and i do recommend them to people if again depending on how they want to carry the firearm so i want to thank you guys for watching today and like i said i'll put the link in the description to check this out if you guys like it or if you think i'm full of crap and you still want to buy it anyway go right ahead so thank you guys for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe and we will see you soon